Thanksgiving week, Dylan D'Angelo unexpectedly lost his best friend. My dad was a very passionate man. He was always the first to tell me to do what I need to do, make sure whatever I put my mind to, I have to go through it. So all of this goes on. Obviously, you're in a state of shock and grief. What made you decide to suit up and play on Friday? Because I know exactly the words my dad would say is, I know just, be, just because I pass doesn't mean that you should let your team suffer without you. You've been pushing yourself and trying so hard to achieve what you want to achieve and what this team has been wanting to achieve. You have to get on that field and play for your team. He sat out the first half until he felt emotionally ready. We were kind of taking it little by little, and then at halftime, you know, we kind of discussed and felt like he was ready, so um, we started getting more and more carries. During that first half, I was watching, and I felt that my dad said that you need to get in, you need to set the tone. And set the tone he did with two minutes left to go. 31-28 favor of the Woodlands with College Park on the march. Handoff goes up the middle. D'Angelo with running room finds the end zone. They signal touchdown. Cavaliers retake the lead. I said watch for the backside cut and just get the first down. And he hit the cut and scored. His teammates lifted him up in the air. Dylan had scored the game-winning touchdown. I broke down. It was very emotional. It was a very high point for me and my dad. It's so inspirational to see him come out there and just do it for our team. I mean, it was, it was special. It, it, it is. It's like a storybook um, kind of ending uh, to that football game. Putting one in for my father and putting in one for this team, for this family, it really meant everything to me. 